Good morning, everyone. So I am up, ready to go. I'm gonna go run my dog for about 20 minutes really quick, um, just to kind of get him worked out because he is a husky and he has way too much energy, more energy than I do. Um, not even all the coffee in the world combined would give me that much energy. But first, I'm making breakfast. I'm probably gonna turn it into a burrito because you know I'm Mexican, so you know that's all we know how to do. We know how to roll burritos just like we know how to roll blunts. So definitely gonna go do that and then um, I'm gonna go to yoga at the bluff at 11 o'clock or 11.30. Um, that is in Long Beach and I definitely am in dire need of a little bit of a stretching. So I definitely need to go do that. Um, I haven't worked out in a good amount of time, so hopefully I can handle. I don't even know what day it is, but um, yeah. I was supposed to work with my brother's girlfriend, Karen, today, but that did not end up coming through, which is totally fine. I go day by day, I'm not tripping, um, but yeah, another free day, so I'm gonna take advantage, I'm gonna do me, I need to clean my car, number one thing as well, so um, need to go clean my car, need to clean my room, need to get my life together, because I feel like when I have my car and my room destroyed, that's what my life feels like, so definitely gotta catch up with a bunch of things, but I will be vlogging my day, I will catch you guys later, my baby's crying, and I gotta be a good mother. Right, Raider? Right, Raider? Raider. Here we go. We are on our way to do all our fucking errands. We have way too many things to do, and there's already traffic, and it's barely 10 o'clock. But that's California for you. I don't even think it's just LA anymore. I think it's just all around the fucking map. So we are on our way to, where are we going? Target, dog food, yoga. Yes, busy, busy. He's going to downtown. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I am not going to downtown. Uh, it sounds kind of fun. Kid in a candy store. <laughs> right, we're on our way to this bitch's favorite store, El Zephi. <laughs> She's a dirty bitch and she needs to get a little face wash because she knows those crevices hasn't gotten a good scrubbing in a while. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes, bitch. Fenty Henty. Guys, this bitch left her car on while we were at Cosmo Prof and I was, there was a car right next to us and it sounded like their car was on, but no, this bitch's car was on, like, Whoops. smoke much. We are here at the blacksmith's corner where we buy our dog food. Hi friend! I'm here for my mazapanes. <laughs> I can't probably eat them because they have chocolate on them, probably. Yeah, they're dairy, right? Yeah, I, I'm vegan, so I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could. It would sounds really good. Oh, you're already on it. <laughs> Show us your breast, chicken. <laughs> is, she the, is she the pet? She's a shop pet. I love it. You guys don't eat this one. This one's the token chosen one. This morning, my dumbass dropped this guy's French press. So we are here at Target to go buy him a new one, and we will buy some yoga mats right after. But first, we gotta pick up a little booch, a little booch for a booch, a little pomegranate action. Are they? Oh my god, they could suck my ass. And they're like really plain. Fix those chairs, girl. Yeah, no wonder you've been so pissy this morning. 
You got your underwear up in that bunch. <laughs> Put it on and start copying that ass popcorn. Oh my god, a fucking headband with a little curl. <laughs> This is too good. Oh my god, it looked like your head just went through a pussy. With a, some STD on it or something. Oh, these boils? So cute. Oh my god. Wow. That's like a really bad boob job on your head. <laughs> this headband is everything though. I want to watch <laughs> I can't. Can you give spot. us a pose? And my eyes. <laughs> Fits my personality. I don't know about that whimsical swirly one. Yeah. Cool. So we just got back home. I'm gonna do my home girl's roots over here because she's looking hella ratch and then we are you know gonna continue on with this fucking day i'm gonna feed my dog real quick but while he's processing i'll probably go for a run because i obviously didn't do it earlier but i'm gonna do it so so we've had a series of unfortunate events happen i cannot find my fucking hair stuff so we are having to do this later. Julian will go ahead and stop by and get a little developer and a tint brush so we can at least apply the color. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna trip about it. I'm gonna just focus my energy on things that I need to focus it on. It'll come up, I know it's somewhere. I don't think anybody would have gone into my car and like stole it or anything. I at least I hope not. I mean, fingers crossed. Next thing, let's get our workout on. <laughs> So I finally understand why women wear sports bras and let me just say they do not stay in place and I don't even have anything so I could only imagine like once they get bigger but your fucking nipples hurt and that is just not fun especially when you're trying to get a workout on and you're like trying to get into it but there's something you know in the way but glad to be done. <laughs> shower time so i just got out of the shower and um i just like to moisturize right before i get dressed just so that i am not ashy or dry and lately i've been using this lotion and it is actually pretty decent um i mean i got this one at just any like target walmart actually i think i got this one at walmart not gonna lie um but it is very affordable it definitely helps, you know, um, moisturize the skin, but not leaving you oily. And that's why I like this lotion. And I think it's like $10. Um, I like putting this in my hair. So this is like a leave-in conditioner and I like using it because it doesn't leave my hair um, frizzy. It kind of controls my wave and gives it this really nice curl to it. My brother's girlfriend, Karen, gave it to me. Um, just like pretty much everything I own, but yeah, this one's a really great one um, I think that is the brand so if you guys have curly or wavy hair and you guys tend to deal with a lot of frizziness This is a really fucking good um, I would definitely recommend this and then for my face. I am going to use it bye bye redness um, I feel like these hormones have definitely made my skin a lot more sensitive so I really like using this because it really helps with the moisture as well. I tend to be pretty dry, but um, it's really nice and not oily as well. I just hate when you feel like there's something on you, um, but it's really nice. I like it. it calms down the redness like it says. Um, I don't know exactly what is in here. Let me double check really quick. Doesn't really say, but it's really good. It, it cosmetics. I like their foundation as well. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lotion up. Um, then I'm gonna 
go clean my car. I was gonna clean, finish cleaning my room, which it's kind of picked up, but um, yeah. <laughs> I brought a trash bag out here because I'm about to get all the fucking trash up out of this car. Like, I'm so embarrassed right now. Look at all this dog hair. Like, I'm just so... No excuse. I'm fucking dirty. I'm a dirty bitch and I fucking know it. But I can also clean really good too, so whatever. I just finished cleaning my car, or more so picking it up. I'm on my way to the um, car wash to go get it washed now. Um, but before I go, I'm gonna put some sunscreen on. My sun bum is a little beat, um, but there's still some in here. Um, I definitely need to protect my skin, especially because it is so hot today. Like, when I went to go run my dog, I was like dying. If you guys can tell also that like leave-in conditioner, it totally does what I told you. Like, look at how cute these curls are. It works so good. Like I said, if you really are, you know, interested in something that's gonna help your curl, that is the product for you. I look like a fucking beach babe. stop by Stater Brothers right now. It's right across the street. I'm just gonna grab a tomato or a couple things actually. So probably like tomatoes. We'll see. I'll videotape it after. I seriously am like trying to get home as soon as possible so that I can cook and get on my merry way so that I can make it to the yoga class at six o'clock. So I'm gonna just grab the stuff and then I'll show you guys after I'm done. So I could not even wait. I'm so fucking hungry that I busted out one of these oranges I just bought. So I picked up some tomatoes, some cilantro, and apples and oranges. Um, so I already have a few things at home. I just really needed, you know, I feel like tomatoes are very popular in my diet. So, um, holy shit. Um, yeah, I bought some of some of that because I'm gonna make I have carne carne de soya, which is uh, some meat that is actually soy based and it is um, a vegan thing. Um, so it's vegan friendly, I should say. Um, but it is something that I'm gonna turn into carne con chile. My mom gave me some dried chilies, and then I have onions at the house. I'm gonna make like a salsa, and then I'm gonna boil the meat. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'll show you, I'll show you guys, I'll show you what it looks like and everything like that, but I'm gonna also make burritos again just because I just like eating burritos. You guys, really quick, let's just see what a difference. I just went grocery shopping. My car is a lot cleaner. I need to still wipe it down, but as you can tell, there is no more dog fur. But I need to wipe everything down now, so...
now that we fed our body the proper nutrients, I am about ready to go to yoga. Um, it's almost six o'clock. I should be on my way because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to Long Beach, but it was really fucking bomb. I hope that you guys um, really experiment with this recipe. It was very simple. I really didn't add too much to it besides a little bit of garlic salt. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It's an authentic twist to carne con chile, vegan status, but um, made me sweat a little bit. It was a little bit hot, but it was a really good. Um, but I should get going. I'll catch you guys at yoga. So I have my yoga mat with me. I am ready to stretch it out on the mat. I have not done this in so long. I'm bringing a, a little towel as well because this bitch gets sweaty. Like she does not mess around, but I am ready. Let's do this. I'm on my way to Long Beach, the bluff. Here we go, the fuck. class it was definitely needed I didn't realize how tight my body was my body is thanking me so glad I went I feel so accomplished I feel like I had a very successful day I guess the only thing I can really say is that I didn't completely finish cleaning up my room but out of all the things that I really needed to do I did it all so I'm very excited um thank you guys for you know, sharing this day with me. It was really cool to um, experience this with you guys. Please like and comment and let me know what you think of this little vlog of my day. Um, I try to do a little bit of everything. Um, I definitely want to do a lot more cooking things because I do feel that um, the vegan lifestyle is a lot more of a healthier lifestyle. It should be a lifestyle change, but I think it is a very difficult for a lot of people who don't really, um, it's probably a lot more difficult for people who don't really know or, you know, just getting started is, I think, the hardest part, but once you're doing it and once you got the hang of it, it's pretty easy, but yeah. It was really cool hanging out with you guys, and I'm about to jump in the shower for the second time because uh, this hoe is dirty, and uh, yeah, I will definitely keep you guys updated and posted on my hormone updates. I think that might be my next video. I'm not 100% sure. I just know that I don't want to do one till my sixth month, and I am probably four months and a half right now. Um, so don't think that I forgot about my hormone updates. Um, I just wanted to kind of get a little bit more months in um, and get a little bit more um, results or, you know, just notice a little bit more changes just because I feel like if I do it every month, it does get a little repetitive and also it becomes harder to see noticeable change. So um, thank you guys so, so much for being interested in who I am and what I do. Um, I love you all. So nice hanging out. It was so nice, you know, just showing you guys my day. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.